Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, let's get right into your reading. We're going to start off with two overall energies and see where that takes us, okay? Let's see. Two overall energies for my beautiful Pisces. Okay, one more. Okay. So one came up. Okay. Oh my gosh. You are celebrating a brand new beginning. Okay. I'm feeling the world energy. You put things to a close that no longer serve you. You're taking the wisdom, you're taking the guidance, and you're taking the lesson, but you're leaving the rest. You're freeing yourself from your past, and it's celebration time. First card out, we have a celebration. So you're really happy. You're really letting loose. You're really, um, ex this is a really exciting time for you. Um, well, you could have just celebrated a birthday as well, okay? This also could be representative of a birthday or a birthday party. But um, it's, you know, as they say, another year around the sun. So this is really beautiful energy. The full card represents brand new beginnings, brand new adventures. Like the world is your oyster. You're packing light, okay? You're not, like I said, you're not taking all the baggage. So uh you're really looking forward to what the future holds for you at this point but all the wisdom all that um toil and labor anything you had to suffer for that wisdom that was gained in that struggle is going to be so useful to you in your future especially in avoiding situations that um could knock you down or, or hold you back like you'll you you'll recognize the signs before they even happen okay but i just f find you moving forward this is really beautiful energy this is lucky energy this is a lot of happiness all right a lot of happiness all right let's get into it with the tarot you could have just uh won something too you're celebrating a victory over something All right. Why is celebration in full here for the Pisces? Okay. So we have a love offer coming in. You might have a choice between two lovers. Um or they had a choice, but they choose you overall. It's somebody that would that could be in your friend circle, somebody you've known for a while, uh, somebody you know um, that you may have worked with, with this vase of friendship roses in the background, and somebody is coming in to present you with a red rose, a love offer, a kind gesture. Somebody needs to get something off their chest. And I think it's, it's regarding love. Okay. Let's see what else is for the Pisces. Oh my gosh. The marriage card. <laughs> um, marriage might be coming in for the Pisces. If you are, um, you know, more... I would say between the ages of, well, let's just start from like 30 and above. You could be on to your second or third relationship or your second or third marriage. Um, maybe it's the second marriage for this feminine and the third marriage for this um, masculine. But the two and the three here, that's a five. Five signify change. So something in your relationship is changing or you're changing lovers. And one of these lovers, if it's not you, definitely have marriage on the mind. Like you feel like you, you found your person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Okay. 
another one for the Pisces. Okay, it's the new one. The child represents new. Maybe this person already, you know, it has, uh, has marriage and wanting to start a family on their mind. Um, you all could be merging families. Like you could have kids from, you know, your past relationship or this person may have children from their past relationship. But I see like a family that's, that's merging together. Or a family or this person, like I said, they, they, you all might have existing children, but now this person wants more children with you or something like that. Okay. Okay. Unexpected income. Okay. So maybe you aren't expecting this rose. This is a gift. Somebody's giving you a gift. Um, why do I feel like something's being returned to you? I know we've had this in your past readings, okay? That like something was being held back to you, but now it's time for somebody to cough it up and give it back. Or this quite possibly is that rose and it quite possibly could be another gift as well. Something that was expensive. But there's going to be a change in your finances. All right. For the Pisces. Oh my gosh. We had this energy big time in your last reading. Okay. This is Distant Horizons. This is the happiest card in the Kipper deck. This is... This is rebuilding your tower, okay? And and building it better, faster, and stronger than ever. Building it to the point where it's resilient. Building to the point where it's indestructible. Look at this ship, okay? It looks sound. It looks like it's ready to go. It's been idling in the middle of the ocean and anchored down by past events. But you weren't sulking there, okay? You worked on uh, and strengthening your ship making it strong, make it, making it able to weather any storm. Okay. But something is being lifted and maybe it's this, this offer, maybe this finance is coming in. That's really going to help, um, free you from this anchor. Maybe what was holding you down or holding you back could have been financial, but it's not going to be able to weigh you down any longer. And during this time that you're idling in the middle of the ocean, you were thinking of um, all the destinations you want to visit, you know, what makes you happy, happiest, and you are being led there. All right, look at those sails. Those are the sails of uh, the colors of the sunset projected by the sun, and the sun represents our happiness. So you're on the way to something very, very happy. And what did I say with the full energy? A brand new adventure, or a brand new beginning. Time to celebrate. This anchor is being lifted. You won something or some, our verdict is in and, and it's whatever. If the verdict was financial, you're receiving it. Okay, we have message of concern here. The, it's ruled by the 14, the one and the four, that's a five. I know it's, something is changing. Something big time is changing. It's changing in your finances and changing in your relationship. You're a little taken back by this message. Maybe it's this love offer. Like I said, maybe you're, um, it's from somebody that wasn't expected. Maybe an admirer is finally coming forward. <laughs> um, like I said, it's somebody that you, you know, possibly has been a friend. Um, you didn't, Maybe you're just like so preoccupied on, you know, rebuilding your ship or, you know, that you weren't realizing all the red flags of their flirting is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, until they finally said, here, here's the red rose. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get into it with the tarot. Oh, what's that? 
Okay. Candle the message for. Oh, okay. You want to just wanted to split it now. Something said split it. I know I just said the sun. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. Okay. This is the sun coming out after the clouds, after the sorrow, after um, feeling down in the dumps. Okay. After suffering in silence, after feeling a loss. Or something has been exposed and your trespasser is in this energy now. Like really, really sorry. Really, oh, that just hit me. Like I, I, I'm hearing, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm sorry for hurting you or something like that. And I'm feeling trespasser energy, like criminal activity. Like somebody went above and beyond. I know Aquarius had this really hardcore in their in their reading. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius. I know this is cups energy, but uh, Aquarius had a real bad trespasser. But this is somebody that is has been exposed for their evil deeds and they're super sorry and regretful now because there's gonna be a consequence to this energy, I'm sorry. They accused you of something when you're innocent or something like that. You're just like, we're going through a hard time and then you had haters like witnessing it and somehow using it against you or something like that. Yeah, I split it again. The truth has been spoken and the sword is at the card of Aquarius. Oh, that concern. Okay, there's a Kipper card in here. Oh, there it is. All right, let's get into it with the tarot for the Pisces. What more can you tell me regarding this issue for the Pisces? Yeah, I feel like you're moving on and you're you're moving to a new location, a new home. Why am I feeling like a luxury home or a luxury vehicle? You know, this is all gussied up, all right? This is like the Ferrari. This is <laughs> the mansion. I don't know, but it, it's like um, your dream house or something like that. You know, this is a ship. It moves. It's traveling. I'm feeling like the worst is over. And that's like the world energy that I initially started off with. That something ha is coming to an end. And a new beginning is here for the Pisces. And that's what I'm feeling. The worst is over. You, you went through something pretty hardcore. Oh my gosh. It could have been regarding something financial and I've been getting this a past few readings I did one over the weekend um where somebody is really suffering criminal justice and they're they're going to be suffering spiritual justice as well because somebody was caught in somebody's money box tampering with somebody's funds tampering with somebody's money hiding money holding money back the four of pentacles is on the outside of this ten of pentacles um, Ten of Pentacles also is representative of family money, inheritances, legacies, things of that nature. Okay. And there are two rats that somehow, you know, rats are really shifty, shady, dirty, dirty play. And the four of Pentacles, which are on the outside, is holding back so somebody was caught holding back finances that belong to you or something in regards to finances and they're caught and they're really sorry about it now and look at this giant tree in the background so this definitely could be somebody in your family or somebody that was close enough to get into your private information or i don't know But they've been able to take out at least four pentacles of it. Okay. So not only were they holding it back, but they were dipping into it as well. You have a rat problem, Pisces. Okay. <laughs> okay. Or somehow, some way, these rats were making money off of you. Oh, I'm feeling all sorts of just criminal activity with these two rats. 
they did something where they were making money off of you and then gaining access to it by forging your name. Yeah, I bet they're sorry because that shit's going to land somebody in jail. Ooh, what did I say? Something real evil. Something real, <laughs> something real dirty. Okay. So we have the devil energy here. And this is a family conflict. This is fighting. This is arguing. This is fighting over something. And it's, look at the pinnacle. A bunch of people fighting over this money or whatever this was. It brought out the real devil in people. And they thought holding this back from you was holding you in place, was binding them to you, was giving them p power over you or something like that. This is also representative of like um, celebrity energy, government energy. Like they haven't like reported it or or this money was flagged by the government or something. Or somehow the government is involved because they're like, where'd all this money come from? Or how did you access all this money? I don't know. Or maybe like you had to be on like some sort of like public assistance because these people kept on fucking around with your money and your opportunities to make money and holding this money back from you. Okay. So you couldn't like move forward or I don't know. All right. Let's see what else. Okay. Here is the moon. The moon represents the Pisces. So something was being hidden. They were trying to hide it. You could be dealing with a Cancerian as well. I see the Cancerian here. I see two, two jackals. I mean, there's two wolves on here. So the wolves for me uh, represent, you know, I go with the na natural route, the, the the Native American route with the, with the wolf. Okay, the wolf is the the protector of the forest. Um, but there are two wolves in this picture, and I don't say, you know. Wolf is in sheep's clothing because of the respect that I have for Native American culture and how they view the wolf. But I say jackals. Okay, so I see two jackals, which are the rats in sheep's clothing, trying to hide something. Trying to hide something that was that is due for you. With the eleven, I hear I see in the back, I see an eleven. And eleven means karma, eleven means justice. Like holding something that's justly owed to you. Ten of cups now. We have ten of cups. So this is family. This is family energy. You know, usually I want to read the, the ten of cups as the happiest... As the happiest card in the deck where, you know, you want for nothing, where your cup runneth over. But I'm really feeling like these two rats have been trying to deny you, really trying to de deny you of this. You know, the Ten of Cups represents, you know... Growing as a family, starting a family, creating a family with the person that you love, creating legacies, okay? Also with the Ten of Pentacles, uh, representative of family, like I said, family legacy, family money. There's two tens here. <laughs> okay. Like somebody wanted control over your family and how, like somebody just wanted full control over your family, over your emotions, over your money, 
and they did it in a criminal manner. Or like I said, this is like the government getting involved because they want to know how these people came into this money because they aren't the person that they signed, signed off. Something had to be signed off. And it wasn't these these rats' name. It was it was either your name. Oh damn. Okay. What I'm saying is <laughs> all right. This is a yes card. This is the nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. This is celebration. Look at this is celebration. This is raising your glass. Look at the champagne. He's raising his cla his glass. He's toasting to something. There is a victory over this situation. But here's another fucking rat. Here's another rat in the ceiling, okay? Like somebody who's been really trying to it keeping tabs on you, watching your success, watching how you celebrate, maybe following you to restaurants or following you, like somebody somebody was trying to sabotage and they're not getting away with it. You're succeeding anyways, okay? Your wishes are being fulfilled anyways. And that's because you're like, you're, you're very supported, you're very loved, and you're very protected by God. Oh my gosh, there's something coming in. There's information coming in to slay this devil or whatever it is. Okay, this they call this the eight arrows of love. You could be dealing with the fire sign with the fire sticks here, or you could be dealing with earth energy. But um, this is good news. This is good news that's going to kind of break the case. That's, that's the information you need to... Um, make the verdict swing in your favor this is also the eight arrows of love so there could be a love connection also arriving here with the with the feminine with the rose and it could be coming in for a pisces feminine okay or this is just the energy of the pisces like there's really good news coming in for the pisces all right the the queen of cups is the queen of love the queen of emotions. Now, you know, of course, this I could be speaking with the Pisces or, you know, this is just like the, the energy of love, kindness, finding its way towards you. As you can see, she's walking away from something and walking into her new future. And the new future holds a new love, okay? The new future holds possibilities possibilities adventures and excitement you're going to whatever's coming in is going to allow you to release this anchor and you're allowed to set sail to wherever whatever that place that makes you happiest or whatever wherever that person is that makes you happiest okay you're ready to set sail and it's after this situation i'm almost depleted from this read it took it's like it's like a big energy drain okay but there is definitely love and finances coming in for you that's really gonna free you up all right and you'll be able to set sail in no time i'm gonna leave it there for the pisces please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i greatly appreciate that don't forget to hit that notification bell it lets you know every time i upload a video okay till next time baby dolls ciao